Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. We're doing a little stealther today. Going back into those stealthy, stealthy woods. Well, you know, not the same woods. The, the stealth, the proverbial, the stealth, the proverbial stealthiness. This is a terrible intro already. <laughs> I'm headed along the bike trail. Oh, it looks like they tried to block my entrance up with some garbage cans. It appears as though they've recently paved this place, too. I'm taking my bike, along with my 25-liter day ruck, to a nice little patch of woods right next to an REI. Now, I've actually rode my bike past this patch of woods on the last episode, the last stealth episode of Small Plots, and the REI in question is actually briefly in that video when I'm, when I'm passing it. So, huh, should be a good one. Kind of like the last time I'm running from rain. I'm trying to beat the rain. Although, we'll see. I hope it doesn't rain. I'm so sick of, so sick of packing up in the rain, you guys. It's kind of nice when you're there and it hits the tarp and you're getting a nice little sleep. But man, does it suck in the morning when you're trying to pack up and get out, and boy, does it suck setting up too. Whew, just like, again, like the last one. So, I have no idea what this woods is like. I've never been there. I've only seen it on the Google Maps, which is the, you know, best way to find forests that, you know, might be suitable for stealth camping, for a little bit of stealth camping. So, I don't know how much of this bike ride I'm gonna film, because again, it is, it's an identical route to the last stealth camping video. It's actually a little bit closer. It's maybe like, oh geez, like a five minute, five minute less bike ride than the one before. But maybe I'll see something interesting. Yeah, so let's get to it. Let's get to the stealth in. sun is coming out we may beat this rain after all which is nice which is good now hopefully the, the forest is suitable that's always a concern right you get there and it's all swamp or it's too overgrown or even worse you can't find two trees to set up a hammock on we'll get it we'll get it we're still camping right we're, I'm gonna, we're, we're getting it Regardless of anything, I'll sleep in a bush if I have to. Yay! This part of the bike path is so bumpy and lumpy, it, it, it smooths out a little bit further up. But man, you got you, you got to choose between a bunch of little bumps on the sides or a big bump occasionally in the middle. It's, uh, it's not a decision I love making, but we make it nonetheless. Passing over the Genesee River now, the raging Genesee. I wonder how many cyclists I'll see out today. It's been a rainy, it's been a rainy weekend. Lots of rain. You can think some people are scared. This is actually the third time this week I'm well, I, I was planning on going stealth camping the first time earlier this week. Poured all day and night. Not gonna do that. Then I was gonna go last night. Poured all day and night. Not gonna do that. So today it was like bopping between 20 and 30 percent chance of rain. Those are odds I can deal with. I can deal with those odds. A little sprank, sprank here. A little sprank, sprank there. We'll see. We'll, hand, we'll, we'll handle it. It is a glorious, marvelous day, especially after being cooped up inside the past couple days with the tumultuous downpours. Uh, hopefully the wind sound isn't too bad. I have the good mic off because it might rain and it's not waterproof, but I basically live near this great series of trails. Most of them paved, not all of them, but between the Genesee River 
and the Erie Canal, as well as a couple of other like uh, rail to trail situations. Like actually that was my first stealth camp, that was a rail to trail. Uh, they, they're all interconnecting and they lead to essentially just they're kind of like a, like, a, like a back route through the city and immediate suburbs. So for me, it likes to go on a little stealthier every now and then. It's perfect to have these trails that just kind of lead behind all of the, all of the city and suburbs kind of through it. One side, one side, coming through, let's go. Hey, everybody, coming through. We got geese, we got geese. Who you, who you, who you, who you think you are? Th thanks for moving. Uh, entitled geese, get out of here. So that's something I did not anticipate. There's like some kind of bike gathering right over at that Ari, right over at that REI over there. Um, they saw me, they waved to me, and then saw me come right over here. So they're about to see me go in the woods. <sighs> Pretty blatantly just walking in. I don't know what else to do. The bike trail is right there. So this place really know what's going on here. It was the former campus of uh, tuberculosis sanatorium and uh, now it's not. An REI and a Costco but it was uh maybe I'll get some pics up. It was a gorgeous old building abandoned for a long time but <sighs> this will do. If nobody's watching me right now this will do. <sighs> Whew, I'm toasty. The humidity is real. I think I just saw a fox or something bounding. I don't know. <sighs> totally, totally out of my element here. Right on the edge of the city. Okay. All right, let's get in there and see what's up. Hey. So first observation is it's damp. What a surprise. Second observation is it's overgrown. Also not that, that big of a surprise. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is like that field from the last stealth camp. I can't film and get my bike through here. It's too too tall. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put my bike here, walk around. There might be an easier way in. What I saw bounding might have been a cat. I think I just saw it again. Definitely gonna have to check for ticks after this one. This is clearly some kind of game trail or trail that other people used to come in and out of here. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, well, if someone no one else is back here, we'll we'll find something alright. This is an old sewer or something. Oh god! These things! Oh boy. Okay. Hey, whoa, didn't even how did I not even see all these? Oh, pretty. How did I not even see all these? How is this gonna work? To see where I have to go. 
I'm just trying to find a way to get down that I can easily bring my bike to. Hmm. Just gotta watch my step, you know, just like the last place, there was a build, you know, buildings here. There's holes and rebar, all manner of things. Okay, this is pretty nice. It's a little hilly, but I think this will do. I'd really like to have a fire tonight. It'd be, it would be great to have a fire, just for the ambiance. So far, not too many signs of people other than the like obvious kind of trail going through there, but that could be deer, I don't know. Usually if people are like squatting or living in a place, there's evidence, there's, there's garbage, there's like a, you know, anything, there's nothing. Okay. Like honestly, right here wouldn't even be that bad. I can see a smokestack over there from the, from the hospital. Yeah, that's, there's a, the, ho, another hospital campus over there that is still a hospital. Probably was part of the tuberculosis place back in the day. There's uh, a rebar, looks like a plant. Look at that. Oh my God, you fall down on that, you're dead. Okay, so I see a cone over there. So people come back here to throw cones. I guess. What is that? There's a sign. And a hole. But this sign, let's see what it says. Okay, well, I'm not destroying anything. As long as it's like not telling me not to camp here. Yeah, I don't see myself getting in there. It looks like there's kind of an opening, a clearing, <laughs> if you will, over there, but. Honestly, this little spot, kind of right on the edge, might do me. Nobody's coming back here, and if they are, they're not going to really care. So if I can find two trees, then uh, Bob's your uncle. If I can find two trees. That's a, that's a big if, because right now, I'm not having a ton of luck seeing anything. Uh, actually, these might do. This would be pretty perfect, actually. I wonder if I put my hammock between these two. Or, or even better, these two. And there's like a little pit right there. I could have a fire in. But I do wanna see, it's right on whatever path this, this is or isn't. All right, I'm gonna set my bag here and go grab my bike. I don't like this just sitting out there. So then I'll explore, I'll, I'll, I'll do all that stuff. Okay, gonna do that. <sighs> okay, so far this is a great spot. I uh, haven't set anything up, but I got my bike. Uh, now I'm just kind of looking around, looking around at bones. Yeah. We got some bones. That's okay. Seen bones before I am bones. I already know I can see cyclists kind of through the trees a little bit. So I still think I want a fire. Just a really small one. This is a really nice little small plot of woods. Cool mushrooms. I can't be sure, but I think somebody saw me come in when I grabbed my bike. I heard like the shutting of a door towards there's like a warehouse over there. I didn't see anybody, but I might have missed somebody, you know, going in and shutting the door. I don't know. Didn't didn't see anybody for sure, and I guess if they were concerned, they probably would have kept watching me. Mm. Oh boy, okay. It's actually really spacious in here. Yeah, you can see the uh, the traffic right over there on the expressway. What is that? What am I looking at? It's this white thing. It's like, oh, is this all fungus or something? It's all here. It's all no, that's man-made. It's like mesh. Oh god, the mosquitoes are rising out of the ground. I don't know if the camera caught that. That was crazy looking. 
yeah, no signs of people out here. Here's some, an old concrete slab. Some more piles of construction. This woods has been a woods as far back as the Google, Google Earth like history goes. Like I think I was able to get to 1985 and this woods was still here. So it's not like a recent growth from some kind of like recent demolished buildings, but there's definitely something here as you can plainly see. It's also kind of close, like I said, to my last stealth camp. It was a few weeks ago now. Um, it was probably about five, five more minute bike ride down the path, um, which also has a similar kind of, hey, there used to be a building here, there's rebar, there's concrete, there's holes, all sorts of things. So who knows, maybe back in the day day, there was just like a big compound here and this is part of that. I don't know, I'm not really sure. The Costco, hold it up, there's a Costco over there. And now we're coming up on a pond, kind of deal over there. No recent prints in the mud. Maybe. It's not no prints in the mud. Nothing super recent. Oh, that's a cool snow. This is like the quote unquote entrance or exit ramp from the trail. The trail like where it leads like straight down the Erie Canal there. Um, has like little entrances and exits. Okay, so I didn't walk around every little square inch of this place, but I'm satisfied, I think. I think it's okay to start setting up. I actually brought my chair this time. I know I don't usually do that stealth camping because I don't want to be obvious. Huh, it's a rope. Neat. Oh, there's some deer. Big guys. There's that rebar that looks kind of like a weird plant. All right, I'm satisfied. Let's set up camp. Okay, so I think I'm gonna tie my hammock from this guy here to this guy way over here. I was gonna do it a little bit more this way, but there's branches on the trees, it'd be a pain. I'd have to snap them off, I don't really wanna do that. So here, there, there's a little divot here that would be nice to have a fire, but I think I'm gonna actually go down in this little mini ravine area to have the fire. It's right there. It's more protected visually and in other ways, visually and in, in other ways. So here's the, here's my chair that I actually brought on this trip. Pretty excited to have a built-in spot to sit because there's nothing really around here. You're sitting on bones. Huh, let's have a seat. Not fall backwards. Some somebody's breaking twig over there. Oi! There's a pretty person. It might just be. It might just be walking down the path. Yeah, if there's a cyclist and there's that person. They're so close. They're so close. I might have to find a different spot. Uh, hmm. Let me just, I'm gonna go. Mm. So I am very close to the trail. A little bit closer than I thought I was. I don't know, I'm moving. Just acknowledging how close I am might deter me from having a fire. I don't know, not because I'm like super worried about someone getting angry. It's more like if, so if you're on the canal path at night when it's dark, I, I just, I, like, what are you doing? I don't, I don't wanna see, I don't wanna have whoever that is look into the woods and see a fire and uh, get, the, get the jump on me. Not super worried. It's more of a, more of like a, a fear fantasy, I guess. <laughs> not really a fantasy. I'm not moving, but I could, I'm glad I'm wearing dark colors. But uh, I brought my light gray Kamakuli UL weather shelter. 
uh, which will most definitely be able to be seen from that trail over there. Luckily, when people are riding bikes and walking, they're looking forward and not really looking off into the woods generally, and they pass in a few seconds. I'll just have to be quiet. And I'm double thinking that fire. Double re re rethinking, I'm not double thinking, double, I, rethinking that fire. I'm staying. All right, hammock time. Hmm, just slide out of there. It's also a weeknight. You know, it's not like people are going to be staying up super late. Not that that matters, really. But, but it is a weeknight. I don't know why in my head I have it, like, like people are less apt to find me on a weeknight than weekend. I don't know, it just kind of seems that way, right? Not really sure how much logic is, is behind that. Oh, you're always on edge during these stealth camps. You're not supposed to be here. Another cyclist. They're gonna be going by all night. Already, I'm blasting through my water. I have a little bit more. <laughs> about it. Better start drinking the good stuff here pretty soon. People are right there. I can literally hear the sound of the bike tires on the pavement. And I look over. And there's a bike and then somebody's walking in a pink shirt. It's gonna be all night with that. Might be best not to have a fire. But then I might get, then I gotta have lights. I don't know, I don't know. Probably not gonna have a fire. I really wanted a fire. It's like, a, I was like looking at it. I was like, oh, it might be pretty good. If I could get deeper in that way, it'd be more possible, but it's too thick. And there's just not as many, it's like thinner young trees that are more closer together. More, more closer, closer together. Don't need the more. Just regular closer. This is the, the, the trepidation of always coming to a new stealth spot, which has been every stealth spot that I've ever been to so far. <laughs> okay, I, I moved. I'm staying. I, uh, I just kept seeing people. They were so close. I'm saying like 25 feet away. And if I'm not gonna have a fire, it means I need a light to film with at night. And like I said, the aforementioned, I don't know who's out there at night, so I'm trying to just steer clear of any interactions. I still got to get my bike. It's right over there, but um, I'm in the ravine kind of now. I don't, it's not really a ravine. I don't know what to call it. It's more of just a divot in the earth. Not really swampy. There's some crazy rebar that I'll film in a minute. I don't know. It's not rebar. It's, uh, what's the, it's just a big, long, threaded metal rope, for lack of a better term. You always see them like supporting power lines and things like that, or, or big poles, you know, they're out there, you know, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. So uh, I'm gonna have my hammock stretch right across this little ravine here, and I will feel better about having a fire. I really want a fire. Still not 100% on it, but it would be really nice. Right here is the very edge of the forest when I came, came in, but the fact that it's so fieldy and there's a giant mound of dirt from construction right there, I feel pretty shielded and safe. Anybody coming back here is just going to be causing mischief and they're going to see a guy camping and probably run away. Or, or put my organs on ice. It's not likely, but you always wonder if your hammock straps break. Hopefully they don't tonight because there's just a bunch of rocks all right, right below where I'm setting it up. Huh. Hmm. Not too bad. 
I don't know if the camera can pick that up. It kind of just passed over, but there's no shortage of helicopters around here. That's the second one. I've been here an hour, maybe a little bit more. I spoke too soon about the litter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Picked up six natty ices. That, let's see if that will, there we go. There they are, six natty ices. I mean, I see one of them on the camera. I don't know, you, you, you get it, they're, they're there. Uh, and, a, and a discarded thing of oil. I don't think there's any oil in it. So somebody has been back here drinking natty ices. I wonder if they're camping. Maybe, but got the bug net up, gonna put the tarp up and then make the final call on the fire because then it would be time to, to do that. And then you know what time it is after that. For dinner tonight, I have a little bit of a charcuterie board. I have the finest meats, the finest cheeses, the most artisanal delights you could possibly imagine. That'll be good. Excited, getting really hungry. Even more thirsty. Got everything set up. People are gonna freak out that I'm using this super, it's basically white, super light gray tarp on a stealth camp, but I'm doing it. Get, get used to looking at it. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. So, oh yeah, here, check out this crazy bit of rope. Metal rope, I don't know what to call it, I'm sure. Hopefully someone can tell me what that is, what, what that's called, before I keep calling it rebar. Oh yeah, here's, here's all the trash I've picked up from this area. If I have enough space, I'll, I'll pack it out, but there's so much, you know, you can't take it all. Maybe just the beer cans. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna have a fire. I, uh, everything's really wet. So I'm gonna try to have a fire. Uh, I don't wanna have too big of a fire, so I'm not gonna process too much wood. Maybe spend the next 15 minutes doing it. And then, and then finally relaxing with a little bit of you know what. <laughs> it's not fully going yet, but it's going okay. It's really wet, everything's really wet. I initially tr just tried it with, with birch bark, didn't even burn all of the birch bark. So it just kind of fizzled out. So I went, I used the corporal's corner duct tape trick. Go check out the corporal's corner duct tape trick that's kind of hard to say corporal's corner duct tape trick but I gotta I gotta uh, focus on on keeping this alive for right now but oh, it's getting a little dark clouds are moving in I hope it doesn't actually rain and I hope that this smoke doesn't fill the bike path that way oh, nice little breeze okay I'm gonna struggle with this for a little bit longer and okay I got the fire decently okay it's not perfect I'm gonna have to tend tend to it like a child all night, but wanted to, you know, get it going. Break into the beverage center, if you know what I mean. Now, the first beverage is a little bit different than normal. You know, normally you might have a beer or a space kitty or something, but today I wanted to do a little something special. A little, a little shout out. This is to Sam Bananas. If you haven't checked out Sam Banana's channel, he's, he's one of my favorites. Some stealth, some not, camping, stuff like that. But I was a fan of his channel before I ever started Small Plots. So here's to you, buddy. It's just a little drink in the woods. It's just a little, just a little friendly drink in the woods. All right, the, act the actual uh, first drink is a little bit different. We have uh, Beak and Skiff Apple Orchards. This is kind of dirty. Uh, 1911. Now this is a New England style IPC, India Pale Cider, hopped. Small batch premium hard cider. I read that out of order, but you get the idea. This is from New York. Where is it? Oh, Lafayette. Let's see. Delicious. It's not my first IPC. There's one uh, from a local place that I've had that's really nice. And this is, uh, this is also really delicious. Glad I brought it out. So far, I'm really digging this, this little site here, this little small plot, if you will. 
Speaking of shout outs, I want to give shout outs to a couple more people. You know, when I started out this channel, started this channel, I, uh, I told myself, I'm like, I'm never gonna do shout outs. I'm gonna just, never gonna do stuff like that. Just because it seems like I didn't want to like not give someone a shout out that I should have or forget or whatever. But I just want to give a couple, another great up and coming channel that I really love uh, is uh, he's an Aussie named Where's Jordy, Where's Jordo Wally. I, lo I love that name because it's it's like it was like hard to say with an American accent. It's like you're like Where's Jordo Wally? You got to say it like an Aussie, like an Aussie bloke. And that was terrible, but that's what I feel like Where's Jordo Wally. It's yeah, you have to say it with the Australian accent. Anyway, he's he's hysterical. His his. His camping videos are hilarious. Uh, last but not least, check out Outlaw Camper. He's been a huge supporter of my channel ever since the beginning. Great dude. If you like uh, just chit chat in the backyard, uh, camping around, having fires, having a beer, smoking a cigarette, he's your guy. Thanks to, to, to all you guys for, for plugging me, for watching, for commenting. Not just the people I shouted out, but everybody. It's, it's been so great. Um, I've, re I, I, I've breached 800 not too long ago, 800 subscribers. I got something cool planned for a thousand. Hopefully people like it. Maybe you'll hate it, I don't know. You never know. But, but it's been really great so far. I wanna do more stealth stuff. I know that's what helps the channel grow. Tend to the fire. So I think, I think next, bust out a little charcuterie, huh? Okay. Pretty classy out here in the woods. It's uh, got a couple things on there. I am famished. I have not really eaten today. I'm like already a third done with this because I'm thirsty. So I guess I'll figure out some way to <laughs> film and eat a board of food. I don't have any tables here. There's a daddy long leg. That's not a table though. Gotta go over what everything is before it falls on the ground or falls into my body. So let's start with the obvious. Got a little beef jerky right there. Bought that at the end just to add a little much. A little, little much, it is, everything's a little much. Just to add a little more. This is all a little much. Everything, this whole video is a little much. Uh, of course, I got a nice little sandwich. A little half a sandwich there with turkey and provolone and mayonnaise and tomatoes. Uh, over here, we have some aged Gouda. Mwah, I love that stuff. It's so good. Now, around the aged Gouda, we have some antelope meat. Yeah, these little antelope Slim Jim things. Yeah, it's uh, some antelope. We'll be eating that. And at the tip of the antelope, uh, those are just some vitamin D gummies because, you know, you got to keep up on your vitamin D. Uh, over here in the corner, just a little smattering of popcorn, you know? And last but not least, some, some some pickled asparagus. Love that pickled asparagus. Charcuterie board in the wood, eh? Not the fanciest version of it, but it's a version of it. And that's what matters. Love these asparagus. They're, they're a little spicy. These are like jalapeno aspar pickled asparagus. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mm -hmm. All right, check out that antelope. Pretty good. It's pretty G dang good. The second one's good too. Pretty good. This is the best way I can figure out how to do it. It's just standing here with the board up. Fire's doing okay for now. That's a Jack Link's jerky. It's okay. Not my favorite Jack Link's. I prefer OT, but pretty good. This was just a free sample of popcorn at the local public market this weekend. It's pretty good. Don't remember who 
who the company is. <laughs> but pretty good. Down with the gummies. Get that vitamin D. Yeah. Pretty good. Completely contrasts the rest of what I'm eating here. Really, really don't know why I brought those. <coughs> I really want to eat this this uh aged gouda it's so good oh my god now if you like strong stinky strong cheese this aged gouda is for you it's so freaking amazing i got more where this came from too i'm gonna be snacking on this all night w wake up constipated oh my god so good i'm dying i'm dying Ah, ah, ah. All right, I guess we'll eat the sandwich, right? It's kind of like the quote-unquote main course. Got this at my local bodega. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating this. Keep sucking down this cider and sit down. I've not really sat down since I sat down in the chair earlier for like two minutes. So, gonna do that. I'm up on the uh, little spot above. You can probably see my camp down there. See if we can see anything. I don't wanna pop out too much, blow my cover. I mean, I can see cars easily. I can see buildings easily. Probably all just blown out white on the camera. Yeah, here, that's maybe easier to explain, like, just this ditch all the way down here. And of course, the camp in the middle of it. Ooh, nice dry branch, I'll have to come back to this. Whatever this is on the ground, somebody might know. It's it seems forageable because where I'm camping and I've, I've trampled some of it, it's like it smells good. It smells like an herb, so like it, almost minty but not quite. Dinner went down pretty good. Now I'm just chilling. Now I'm just chilling. Super relaxing back here. All right, well. I'm gonna shut up and listen to the nature and birds. There's another beer can over there. People definitely are coming out here. Hopefully not tonight. I found something great. Look at this. Wild berries. Some wild raspberries. Get the fuck off. They're super not ripe yet. Mmm. Sweet and delicious. Love finding wild berries, especially if they're in a place where I can be sort of certain they weren't peed on. Never be too sure. Pretty soon the temps will drop a little bit. I hope they'll drop a little bit. Not supposed to be terribly windy tonight. Maybe like five to seven miles an hour, something like that. And I'm in this little, this little dip, this little ravine area, so I don't expect I'll feel anything, which is kind of a bummer because I like a little breeze when I sleep, but. Hopefully the sound of the freeway, the expressway, the whatever you want to call it over there, the car-centric road that pedestrians and businesses are not on, hopefully that lulls me to sleep like it did the last place when I camped next to an expressway. <sighs> so yeah, probably gonna hang out. I mean, not probably, I mean, what else is there to do? I'm hanging out right now. Pretty... Pretty much filling the area with smoke. Look at that, that's all from me. I don't think anyone's gonna gonna care. When's the last time you cared and you just saw it a little smoky? <laughs> wow. It's also kind of blocked by this big hill right here. So it's not coming from exactly one spot.
Look how nice that looks down there. Look like I live here. Well, it's getting a little dark. Probably, it's probably about 8.38. You know, just if I were to guess. And I can tell it's gonna be a good lightning bug night. Let me see if I can get some of these guys. Mid-July is kind of the main, like where the lightning bugs are the thickest. And there have been times where I've woken up camping in the middle of the night with millions of, of fireflies. That was actually at a, last time I did a solo regular camp where I had the, the one tigress uh, bungalow 2.0. At that exact spot actually, that happened when I woke up in the middle of the night and just mil millions, million, you could see by lightning bug. It was, you could see in the dark. You didn't need a flashlight. It was pretty, pretty cool. That'd be great tonight. I'm not expecting that because, you know, I am in an urban location and not the middle of the woods, but yeah, I, I can still see some, like if a cyclist goes by and they have a light, I can sometimes just barely see it, but I'm not too worried. <laughs> still haven't moved my bike. My bike's over where I camped, where I, where I originally set up to camp. It's like 25 feet that way. It's not very far. So yeah, just gonna keep doing this for a while. Almost done with my second cider. Space Kitty is imminent. Actually, why don't I just get one now? Man, there's a lot of freaked out animals in these woods. Okay. Here she is, the beloved space kitty. It's hard to imagine camping without it, even though I often do camp without it. <laughs> and, and sometimes I, you know, I'll drink it when I'm not camping as well. It's just a good freaking beer, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A little foamier than the last one. Hmm. Meow. Yeah, still not dark enough for me to want to go venture and see if I can see any lights yet. I don't want to blow my cover because of, you know, there is the REI right now. I think they're what time did I just say? It was 8.38. Um, I, they, I think they close at nine. Not at lightning bugs. I think they close at nine. I could be wrong. I didn't check that at all. They could, they could have closed at seven. I have no clue. Um, but there's a Costco over there and there's like a warehouse here and... I heard a couple uh, car doors open and close, which is really weird because there's no reason for that. There's no parking lots. The road is uh, an expressway, and even if they were parked on the expressway, I shouldn't have heard as close as that was. He heard it as close as that was. Well, I, I heard it once, and I was like, meh. I sat here in silence for another 30 seconds, and I heard another one. I am with <laughs> this fire, uh, uh, just, a, just a beacon in the night, just a beacon. Half expecting to just see like a flashlight, like, like right on. <clears throat> you can see a street light over there. Here's my fire. And there's right over there. That's the REI and Plaza. Let's, let's go up on the other side. Check that out. It is very illuminated over there. Check myself for ticks again. I'm going through. You can't see it. Are 
hear a crackling from here. All right, I don't want to go too much farther. That's not actually even the REI. That's just uh, a road and other stuff. Okay, I gotta go back. That can't be my fire making that noise. And if it is, then I still gotta go back. I guess it was my fire. Whew. I got chills. It seriously sounded like big sticks breaking in the woods. It was just fire popping. Oh, boulders. It's just you making a little sound. There you go. I almost just spilt this my, my beer right now. I I pulled this this uh, this log over. It was just it's sticking out it's sticking out of the ground there, and it was behind me. And I just kind of moved it over. I was like, hey, how about we roast this bone? And as I did, this little number that was attached to it just flopped down and just barely missed. This is a full beer. I think I'm taking one sip out of it. And the final beer of the night. That would have been so tragic. I'm very, very happy for this moment. Uh, you know, sometimes you got to take, take them in, take in taking the moment that that you know there's so many moments in life so yeah the, the, the hanging out continues here we go a little, little, little bit more in my face anyway uh the hanging out continues i'm just sitting here. i'm relaxing it's not even that late it's probably like nine o'clock or so i'm not really that tired but i'm just sort of sort of farting around you know something definitely just crashed through the woods right now i was just getting ready to record about how mosquitoes were biting in the back through my chair so I had to put my quilt down and then I heard a crash through the woods not right next to me but close enough to be in the same little forest I'm, it's not a, it's not a big forest <sighs> trying to get the light on my face <sighs> hopefully it doesn't give me away too much if there's someone over there it's most likely a deer I don't see any lights like a flashlight or anything but it's just alarming when you're out here alone in woods. It's just alarming. It's just alarming. Can you see that? That little shine over there? That's my bike. And every time I look with my headlamp on, it, it shines back. And I, I think it's one of two things. Either someone's coming at me or their eyes. Mainly eyes. They look like eyes. Look, let's 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 just. I mean. <laughs> Does, does that not look like eyes? They're just the reflectors on my bike. I mean, I think, right? 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 Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the other reflector on the top. And that's the back wheel. This place is insane with snails. Look at this guy. Look how cool that is. It's like blue. It's from another world. And you can see how big my beer is next to it. It's a real little guy. That's organic snail movement. <laughs> They're so slow. Oh. <laughs> it's not it's a it's an X snail. It's an old snail shell right there. Not one in it. That's cool. Let's see. Let's see what else. Oh. Well, it's turning out it's a not so fruitless after all. Hey buddy, look at that snail. Snails are so cool. All right, let's see. Now we're on a roll. Huh, maybe that was it. I've certainly seen my fair share of snails here. It's just a little spooky. Anyway, this, this fire is, is becoming unsalvageable. I've blown on it and I've blown on it. Come on, let's, let's. Yeah, you know. As it stands, just kind of enjoying the, the din of the expressway and the sound of this toad next to me. At least I hope it's a toad because it's moving real slow. It's been next to me for like the last half hour, just occasionally hopping or jumping or moving. Pretty sure it's just a toad. And I gotta say, the mosquitoes have died down a little bit. So maybe 
the toad is helping me with its uh, bug eating abilities. Feeling pretty good about this. Well, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's raining. I haven't felt a single raindrop yet. I've already put my uh, my gear. Already put my gear under under the tarp. It's a little banana-y. Not the best hang. I don't. Not the best circumstances, honestly. But uh, it's still a cool little campsite. There's the last space kitty. Just hanging out, dead. Just dead. Oh, there we go. Just waiting for a toad. A toad lover. Well, it's kind of just minorly sprinkling. It hasn't really stopped. Just a little minor, just a little minor rush of a sprinkle but it's time for bed anyway so here i am in bed it's so muggy and <laughs> this bug nut i wish i was outside of it i wish uh that's why i like fall and spring camping you can just get in your hammock there's like a nice wash of wind that may or may not happen but it's it's better than this this is just a an oppressive cave so i'm gonna probably just end up stripping down uh, just like last time I, st I was in a stealth camp, <laughs> there was just a super bright light right there, just in my face. Hopefully it's not so bad once I get situated and lie down and things are settled. Yeah, uh, you, know, you, you know, we'll figure it out. But for now, unless something just like totally unexpected happens in the night, this is... This is good night, and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, not too bad a night. I actually woke up like two hours ago and just decided to rest my eyes again, just like chilling out. I slept for like two more hours. Ugh. But yeah, survived the night. Not too many animals, a couple, couple, two, three animals here or there. Not really too much else to speak of. No, uh, no night beasts of the wood, anything like that. <sighs> Beautiful morning. The lens keeps fogging up, it's very humid warm kind of can't wait to get out of here which is good news for me because i'm out of here all packed up just got to get my chair underneath the pack get my bike over there and get out of here but thanks for watching everybody this has been small plots with kevin i'm kevin and what a what a picture perfect small plot this turned out to be here today don't forget, new episode of Small Plots every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. One of these days, I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna miss one. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, I'm taking the week off. I don't know when that's gonna be. Maybe it'll be next week, who knows? I got, I got a lot going on this week and in the weekend. So if I don't have a video next week, just know that I'll have a video the, the following week. But I don't know. I have some plans for, for something I might want to do. So we'll see, we'll see. Don't, don't call me on that. Anybody, or anybody, anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll catch you on that nextie. See ya!